Welcome to a new SiteGround video. My name is Cal Evans, and in this video, we're going to talk about exactly what compression is, how it works to serve up fast web pages, and we'll compare two of the main compression algorithms out there, gzip and Brotly. Finally, we'll talk about why you should start using Brotly for your website. You ready? Let's go. Hey look, everybody is looking for ways to make their website faster. Most of the time, we focus on optimizing code, optimizing the database, implementing caching, and implementing a content delivery network. All of these help a lot, but there's one thing that you can do that you may not realize. You can compress the content you send from your server to the browser because, well, smaller is faster. Now, your images are probably already compressed. Most images on the web these days are, but there's still a lot of non-image data out there that is part of any modern website. HTML, JavaScript, CSS, all of these files are just plain text, and there are a lot of them in every website. Even if you minify these, there's still a lot that has to travel over the wire. And if we compress it, that's just that much faster your website can load. So, how does compression work? Well, the idea is pretty simple. Properly configured web servers can see that you're sending plain text content and compress it before it's sent to the browser. Properly configured browsers can detect compressed content, uncompress it before they try to display or execute it. This process reduces the size of the data that is moving between the server and the browser, resulting in speed gains multiple times bigger than the milliseconds lost in compressing and decompressing. How? First off, web servers have gotten pretty fast at compressing content on the fly. This means that even if you aren't using a beefed up server, it won't be slower than sending uncompressed data. Second, Browsers are really good at decompressing things quickly. Not all browsers and computers are created equal, however. It's up to the browser to tell the server that it can take compressed data. It does this by sending a special piece of data called a header. Specifically, when you request a web page using a modern browser, as part of the conversation with the server, they tell the server what encoding mechanisms they understand. This way, the server can pick the best way to compress the data to send it to the browser. The browser sends a special header to the server to tell it what types of encoding it can accept. In this case, the browser is telling the server that it understands the three most common compression methods, deflate, gzip, and brotly. Deflate is the original method and while it's good, it's been surpassed these days by gzip. Let's take a deeper look at both gzip and Brotly though. gzip was the most common format for the longest time. It provides an excellent compression ratio. It's good at making things small. And it's fast. gzip was released back in 1992, just before the web became publicly available. The BR in the previous line that I shared stands for Brotly the new kid on the compression block. Released by Google in September of 2015, Brotly has quickly become the standard for compression algorithms for serving web content. Why? Well, because it's faster than gzip. But how much faster? Well, let's find out. With Brotly compression, you can get 14% smaller JavaScript files, 21% smaller HTML files, and 17% smaller CSS files. Brotly is also faster at both compressing content on the server and decompressing it on the browser. In some cases, the front-end decompression is up to 64% faster than gzip. Still, Brotly offers one more advantage over gzip. It was designed to compress streams of data. When you request a web page in a browser, the server starts sending you multiple streams of data. Each file that is part of your web page is a different stream that your server sends to your browser. Brotly was designed to compress streams. Yes, it can be used to compress files, 
but that means you would have to compress all of the files you want to serve before you sent your web page. It can be done, but that's an additional step. Brotly achieves very good compression on streams of data as opposed to just compressing static files. These speed up your website without you having to do anything at all. As we talked earlier, Brotly is designed to compress plain text data. Your image files are already compressed, thus your web server won't encode them and won't tell the browser to decode them. For the plain text data that is encoded, your web server sends the browser a header, letting it know the compression format that is being used. This way, your browser doesn't have to guess about what compression is being used. This header tells the browser to decompress the data using Brotly before attempting to display it or execute it. Other media files may or may not use content encoding. MP3 files, for instance, are already compressed, as are font files. Most properly configured web servers know which files to compress and will do all of this automatically for you without having you having to do anything. On the web browser side, almost all modern browsers support the decompression of compressed content. If your website users are using current versions of their favorite browser, they all support Brotly. Chrome, as of version 5.0, Microsoft Edge as of version 18, Firefox as of version 68, Safari as of version 12, and iOS Safari as of version 12.1 all support Brotly. These represent the majority of web browsers that we use to visit your website. It should be noted though that no version of Microsoft Internet Explorer supports Brotly. Since IE is no longer in development, it never will support Brotly. Microsoft Edge does, however, and that is their web browser going forward. On the server side, starting with Apache 2.4, Brotly was an option, although it requires libraries to be downloaded and compiled in. Nginx, the other major web browser in use, supports Brotly and through its NGX underscore Brotly module that can be compiled in. Lucky for you, if you host your website with SiteGround, you don't have to worry about this. All of this has been done for you already. If you are curious if you currently have any compression enabled on your website, there are a couple of ways that you can check. First, you can visit a website in a modern browser, right-click anywhere on the page, and click Inspect. Find the Network tab, Reload that page, find the first entry in the list, and check, click on it. Then click on Headers. See if there's an Accept Encoding header. And if there is one, see if it contains either gzip or br. If it does, you have compression enabled. If not, you don't. Or you can visit the URL on your screen. Enter your URL into the box there, and it will tell you if either or both compressions are in enabled. I usually do the second one. Compression in websites is now the norm because it helps your website load faster. Currently, Brotly is the fastest compression algorithm available for websites. If you see that you're still using gzip, Move to a web hosting partner that has Brotly enabled automatically, a partner like SiteGround. You can find more information about Brotly's enablement on SiteGround servers in the description below, as well as a link to check out all of our other unique site speed features that make your website fly. Now, I wanna hear from you. How do you compress your sites? Have you already tried out Brotly? Which are the key compression algorithms that you find the most successful? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, I wanna thank you for joining us today as we learned. I hope you found it both educational and interesting. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click on the subscribe button on your screen to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon also so that YouTube will notify you every time we release a new video. Finally, 
follow us on social media to stay updated about all the news, trending content, and resources for successful website management that we share. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.